So I had the question come in of what equipment do I need to start a pressure washing business? What, what equipment do I need? Do I need a $20,000 rig? Do I need a $90 or $500 um, pressure washer from Home Depot? Do I need, um, do I need a $10,000 rig? Do I need a $5,000 rig? Well, today I'm gonna to talk to you in this video of equipment that you need for a pressure washing business. Now, this is gonna be um, a general. Um, it's not, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what brand, what, um, what um, who, do you, who to buy from, because if you're on one part of the country, it might be better to buy from somewhere on the West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, you might be better to buy from some of my suppliers that I've set, told before. Um, so, depends on where you're gonna be at in, in, in that. Now, I am going to be building a rig for this trailer for a tra as training. So if you want to learn how to pressure wash in training, I am going to be building it. And I will, if you want to fly to Cincinnati, I will teach you how to pressure wash. Or you can go on my online course and you can learn how to pressure wash at pressurewashhelp.com slash training. But for now, I'm going to show you, tell you what all you need. So the first thing we need is the foundation is the pump. So pump. What pump do we need? What kind of pressure pump do we need? Do we need a a a a a a six thousand dollar, seven thousand dollar, eight thousand dollar hot water machine? Uh, um, hot water and it, it'll flow ten gallons a minute. No, we don't need that to start now. Now, if you got an application that you're doing. I don't know what it might be, but you think you're advanced and you're just going to go there and you got all this money you want to blow, then you might think about that. But with that being said, you know, or do we need the, the, the $499 one at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever your big box store is? Do we want that one that, that, um, that has a little motor on it and it flows 2.3 gallons per minute? We don't want that one. I'll just tell you. We don't want that one. So with that being said, the first thing we want to look at with a, starting a pressure washing business is our pressure washing pump. And there's an important factor with our pressure washing pump. Pressure does not clean. Do I need to say that again? Pressure does not clean. When we get in the shower, do we just turn on the high pressure and just pressure wash us? No pressure does not clean I mean it'll clean all right it'll it'll take off all your skin it'll take off all the oxidation on the house it'll take off all the paint on the house but we don't want that we want to clean as a pressure washing business and being professional so a good pump to start out is is at least four gallons a minute that's four GPM four gallons a minute and our pressure really doesn't matter it can say 4,000 but that's all right and that's you're going to find even at a big box you can find one at a big box store if you want for right around a thousand dollars eight hundred to thousand dollars now my suggestion is is to upgrade a little bit instead of going at that we there's a pump out there that's right around that fifteen hundred dollar mark and it is a great pump and that's what i'm going to put in here it's not you know most people will say eight gallon a minute start there well that's a four thousand dollar pump so, you know, $4,000 versus $1,500, you know, that gives me $2,500 worth of marketing budget, you know, and honestly, that $4,000, I'm going to have a whole trailer built for $4,000. So, with that being said, we want a pump that is right around that um, 1,500 gallon, or um, sorry, we want a pump right around that um, it, it's five and a half gallon a minute and it is in depending on where you get it from some are rated at 2500 psi some are rated at 3000 um, but 2500 psi in five and a half gallon a minute pump is an excellent pump to start out with it will get you a lot further shooting distance than the eight um the four gallon will it won't get you as much as the eight gallon but it's pretty daggone close um, and this is a great pump for 
starting your pressure washing business. It will do it will do everything you ever need and it's a great pump. And if you want to upgrade it a little bit, you can spend I think it's about 400 bucks to put the electric starter on it. If you don't want to you can just keep the pull start and it's like I say, I'm finding it anywhere from about 1450 to about $1600. So that's the very first thing we need to be able to start our pressure washing business. All right, the next thing is pressure washing hose. We're gonna need more than the 50 foot that comes along with it. Um, honestly, if you can build you a little trailer, put everything on it, that, that, is, that is kind of the ideal situation. So we'll need about 200 to 250 feet of pressure washing hose. Now, on this pressure washing hose, um, with the lower pressure, we can get away with one wire pressure washing wire um, hose. You don't need the two. The two's pretty heavy and it's bulky and it, one wire will work fine. It's a little bit cheaper and it, it, it works just fine. Um, they both blow. Um, two hose, two wire will blow just, it will blow just like one wire will. Um, and, so, and as long as you don't run over it, you take care of it, you keep the, the soap out of it, it'll last you, it should last you for a long time if you take care of it. Uh, with that, you can buy it as one 200 foot section, you can buy it as two 100 foot sections, you can buy it in 50 foot sections. Honestly, I like buying it in 50 foot sections and this is why. When it does blow and you're at a house and you only have that one 200 foot section on there, you're rolling everything up and you're going to the house. I've done it. I was an hour away and I had one 200 foot section and a 50 foot section and 50 foot, I couldn't pull my truck around that house to get the whole house. So that is why I went with 50 foot sections. Because if I blow a section and I'm way far away, guess what? I can plug up and I can keep right on going. And so that is why I went with the 50 foot sections. There's another reason why I went with 50 foot sections. When I'm pulling off my hose around my house and I'm done pulling off hose, I can disconnect it and connect it into a quick connect that I have built. So that way I don't have to roll up um, 250 foot, 200 foot. <coughs> I don't have to roll up 200 foot of hose every time. And especially if you're balling on a budget and you don't get electric reels, rolling up hose over time, you know, you might think, oh, it's only going to take three or four more minutes or two minutes to roll up that extra 50 feet. But if you do three or four jobs and you get tired, you're going to get wore out rolling up hose after time. So that is why I like the smaller hose. That's why I like the 50 foot section. And I also like it for the one wire versus two wires. Um, on the quick connects, you can put them one way or the other. They, um, I, we always put the um, male ends on the, um, on the um, guns and stuff. Other people put the female. It doesn't really matter. People say when you roll, stretch and hose, it can unhook. I've had that happen one time in the seven years I've been pressure washing. So, you know, if that one time is going to make you change it, it doesn't matter. Um, so that is kind of, you know, my thought is, is, you know, the plug is, the male plug is, you know, $2. The other one's about four or five. Having, that, having the four or five one on each piece, it's a little cheaper to go with um, the male plugs on your gun, your surface cleaner, all that kind of stuff. It's not that much of a difference. So you're talking three, four, you're talking probably $10 difference. So it's not like you're saving a lot of money by doing it that way. So, but with that being said, with the, um, the pressure washing hose, that's what it is. All right, so we have the pump, we have the hose. Um, on the guns and wands, we, we are going to want a short kind of section um, pressure washing gun. Uh, we are going to want the J-Rod. We will need a J-Rod and we will either need one of two ways to clean. So there's a couple of different ways to clean with the pressure washer, power washer. Um, one way is called downstreaming and downstreaming is a, is a downstreamer. And this goes by your pump. It goes right next to your pump. It'll have a hose that'll run off your pump and run down into your 
um, into your tank, into your soap tank or soap bucket or five gallon bucket of soap. And I'll tell you what kind of soap we need here shortly, but uh, in your soap. So that'll just run there. Or there's another way, and that all stays on the trailer at that point. There's another way we can clean. It's called X-Jetting. So that system there costs about $40. Uh, it might be about $50 to soap by X-Jetting. And if you need to replace the X-Jet or um, the, the downstreamer, they're $15 a piece. They're $15, $17 a piece. Now, there's another way to clean. It's called X-Jetting. And it goes on the end of your gun, on the end of your gun here. And um, you have to move, you have to get a 15, 20 foot line and you're pulling that around in the back of the yard. Um, that's, um, that is that. That also costs about $180. So $180, almost $200. $200 versus $50. That's why I went with the $50. But there is, there is advantages and disadvantages of both. So the advantage of, of uh, that is we don't have to worry about spilling bleach out in the yard and killing grass, that kind of stuff. Uh, and the disadvantages are they don't last as long. Um, you, if you do, if you take care of them, clean them, they will last, but you got to take care of them. Now on the X jet part, um, um, the good thing about it is, is we can go stronger. Um, X jet, we can only X jet or, um, downstream. We can only downstream from 10 to 10 to one on X jet. It's like either three to one or five to one. So we can get quite a bit more soap on the, the, the house. Now, the last thing here is, is our soap. So the way we clean vinyl siding and clean uh, that kind of stuff is we use sodium hypochlorite. And with that, it is, you can be the same thing as pool shock. Go to your local store and buy pool shock. And what it is, it can come in a couple different ways, 10%, 12%, or if you get just regular old bleach, it's about 6%. So with that, we're going to use that. It's going to be part of our soap and I'll do another video. I think I might have a video or I'll do another video about that soap. So with that, we have our pressure washer. We have our, um, our, um, our hose and we have our thing. A couple other things is, is reels. Um, I'll put links all down below in there, but we need reels. And um, I'm actually going to have a list, everything listed for this trailer of once I get it done um, and built. And I'll have it all on a nice web page and it'll all be clickable links to different places and where we can get it and how we can get it for that price. Of I'm shooting for $3,000. Um, it'll probably be more about the $3,500 um, just because I want to add a couple different things to it. Um, there'll be a basic, um, the basic pressure washing setup. I'm pretty sure I can do for about 3000, but I'm going to add actually where I can do roof cleaning. And so that's probably going to put me up into the 3,500 area. And even if I add, um, window cleaning on it, then it's probably going to push me up even more at that point. So I hope I've helped you out. Um, go check out my website at pressurewashhelp.com slash training and um, see all the cool stuff I'm going to be coming up on there. Also, if you would like to learn more about um, how to quote um, pressure washing, go check out this video up here. And if you would like to learn about how to get business and how to get leads and how to do that, I show you in my Google Ads playlist down here and you can check that out. Um, thank you and have a great day.